Welcome to Washington, D.C. There is so much to experience in the nation's capital. So in this travel guide, we're walking through the top things you need to do when you visit Washington, D.C. The first place on this list is the National Mall. Besides being one of the most iconic and picturesque plazas in the U.S., the National Mall is also centrally located in D.C., making it the perfect reference point to get your bearings. In fact, many of D.C.'s top attractions are actually located along the National Mall. Being over two miles long, it's a massive park to traverse on foot. And while you can walk it, we'll cover a travel hack on our D.C public transportation video, where for just one dollar you can easily hop on and off a specific public bus line to see most of Washington's must-see spots. So be sure to check that out as well. While near the National Mall, it's the perfect time to check out the next thing to see in D.C., and that's the Library of Congress. Being founded in 1800, the Library of Congress has grown to be the largest library in the world. It's home to some of the rarest and most valuable books on the planet, including Thomas Jefferson's personal library that he sold to the government after the first Library of Congress burnt down. One of the cool things about the Jefferson Library is if you stand right here in the center of the room, you get this crazy echo that's only audible to yourself. Definitely check it out while here. Even if you aren't into books, this is probably one of the prettiest buildings in all of DC and is a must-see spot. And while it's free to enter, you'll need to reserve a spot online in advance. We'll link in the description box below where you can pick up some tickets. So we're in the Library of Congress right now. This is my favorite building in all of Washington, DC, and you can clearly see why. It captures such a classic architecture and such a scholarly vibe. I can't imagine how many overdue library book finds it would take to build this place today. So in this main reading room, you can see there's 12 large figures figures surrounding the main dome and it's pretty cool these figures actually represent the different subjects that you can explore in the library so we have art philosophy history it's a really unique interpretation we've got a whisper now we've descended into the main reading room and this place is just dripping with symbolism so as courtney mentioned all the statues represent different genres of books and they're all holding things that are of significant value so like history for example is holding a mirror to look behind but he's also looking forward to show up so the other reason I'm so excited to be in the reading room is I think this is where Nicolas Cage comes in National Treasure 2 to find the president's secret book. So kind of crazy to think if it's real, it's up there somewhere. Next on our list is to visit the amazing monuments that DC has to offer. Believe it or not, there are over 65 monuments along the National Mall, each of which helped tell the story of the iconic American heroes in defining moments in our nation's history. The Washington Monument is probably the most famous landmark in DC and is visible from all over the city. It's centrally located in the National Mall, and when it was first constructed, it was the tallest building in the entire world. You can take an elevator to the top of the Washington Monument to score one of the best views in all of DC. However, tickets sell out very quickly, but we'll link in the description a website that you can use to secure tickets to the top up to 30 days in advance. Even if you can't get tickets, it's still worth strolling up to the base and admiring the monument and the 50 flags that surround it from below. Another monument to check out nearby is the Lincoln Memorial. Being located on the west end of the National Mall and also on the back of the penny, it's another grand spot in the capital. Overlooking the reflecting pool, the Lincoln Memorial is one of the prettiest monuments to stroll up to. As you make your way up the steps and inside this marble mansion, you'll see a giant seated statue of the 16th president as well as some of the most famous words spoken by Honest Abe. Be sure to say hi to all the baby ducks while nearby the reflecting pool and this memorial. So behind me we have the Lincoln Memorial. It's probably one of the most iconic memorials in all of Washington DC. It's really packed with symbolism. Lincoln's stance is one of its very stoic but it's also got a lot of meaning too. So if you actually look at Lincoln's hands, one of them's clenched in a fist which shows the desire to finish the Civil War. The other hand's open which symbolizes welcome the divided country back together into one cohesive United States. This is an amazing monument worth checking out. And while you're admiring presidential memorials, you'd be disappointed if you missed the memorial dedicated to the U.S.'s third president and author of the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson. With its location near Lincoln and on the Washington's Tidal Basin, this is one of the most unique memorials in the area. So we're at the Jefferson Memorial now. It's a bit of a hike to get over here. There aren't many monuments that are super close, but I think it's totally worth it. This is actually my favorite memorial in D.C. I don't really know what it is about it, but maybe the fact that it sits on the water and it's a nice big rotation that you can walk around but it's absolutely gorgeous and it also gives you a nice breeze on a hot day. And while there are countless other monuments worth visiting in DC, other top memorials include the Martin Luther King Memorial dedicated to the civil rights leader's legacy. Additionally, there's the Korean War Veterans Memorial which has 19 statues here that are in proportion to the number of Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines that served in Korea. Also, there's the Vietnam War Memorial which is a long reflective wall containing the names of over 58,000 Americans who made the ultimate sacrifice for America in the Vietnam War. Additionally, there's 
there's the World War II Memorial, which is also worth checking out. In addition to monuments, Washington DC has some amazing neighborhoods that are worth checking out. In particular, we highly recommend checking out the Georgetown area. This is a charming area known for its architecture and world-class university. It's also home to one of the most iconic shopping streets in America, M Street. If shopping is your thing, there are tons of fun shops lining M Street, several of which are flagship stores for brands that operate mostly online. If you're a foodie, there are a few amazing restaurants in this area that you'll need to try as well. We'll cover these at greater length in our DC food tour. So be sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss it. One of the things to see while you're in Georgetown is the exorcism steps. I'm a baby, I hate scary movies, so I actually have no idea what happens on these steps. But even if you're not into horror movies, these are pretty cool steps. Cool spot in Georgetown. If you're looking to save a buck after shopping in Georgetown, you'll love the next thing on our list, and that's exploring DC's world-class museums. Being open seven days a week and free to the public, the Smithsonian Museum Network has some incredible exhibits to explore. And while the famous Smithsonian Castle might be DC's most iconic looking museum, there are actually over 17 other museums to explore. We'll link the full list of museums in the description box below. Some of the iconic museums on this list include the Museum of Natural History, which is home to an impressive collection of natural wonders. In addition to this and the museum's iconic architecture, you might also recognize this spot from the movie Night at the Museum too. While here, be sure to say hi to my favorite exhibit, the Giant Sloth. We're in the Natural History Museum. This is a giant sloth, and it says they only ate twigs and leaves, and they grew to be this monstrous size. So if you can imagine how big I would get if I started eating twigs and leaves, I'd probably be massive. If you're an art connoisseur, you'll need to visit the National Gallery of Art, which holds many of the nation's cultural treasures. Inside, you'll find Monet's, Van Gogh's, and even the only original Da Vinci work in the entire USA. Even if you're not an art buff, you'll still appreciate the classical pillars and fountains that make this museum a one-of-a-kind spot. One of our favorite art exhibits actually isn't in the National Gallery at all. It's located just 10 minutes away in the National Portrait Gallery. Here on the second floor, you'll find the only complete collection of presidential portraits outside of the White House. We we love this exhibit because not only is it interesting to learn bite-sized facts about all the accomplishments of the presidents, but also because of the history. All of these portraits involve the president sitting themselves in the same room while the portrait was painted, which is a really exciting thought. We are in the National Portrait Gallery. It's a really neat collection of all the president's professional portraits. And it's kind of cool you can walk through the different eras of presidents. It's fun to imagine them just sitting down and getting their picture painted, each choosing their own artistic style and what they want to convey with their body language and what they have in their background. It's a one-of-a-kind exhibit you should definitely check out while in DC. Another iconic museum is DC's Air and Space Museum, which is home to many of the iconic airplanes and spacecrafts that have defined American history. Due to this museum's popularity, you'll need to secure timed entry passes in advance, which we'll link below. And if you can't get in, we've also heard the Spy Museum is an incredible museum as well, but there is an admission fee to enter this museum, so just keep that in mind. And no trip to DC is complete without popping a peek at the most famous residence in the US, the White House. Being located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, you can expect to find crowds and heavy security protecting the area. So we're at the White House. This is probably the most famous house in all of DC and probably the world. And that's because this is where the president of the United States lives. It's pretty massive. I think there's over 35 bathrooms in the White House. There's a swimming pool, a movie theater, and even a bowling alley in there. Pretty iconic spot to check out. Another top spot you need to see in Washington, DC is the US Capitol building. This building is home to the Senate and Congress and is one of the most architecturally impressive buildings in all of DC. Being located near the east end of the National Mall, we recommend taking the time to observe both the front and rear of the building as they both offer unique vantage points points of this one-of-a-kind structure. It's also a great spot for a photo op with your favorite corgi. So we are at the U.S. Capitol building. This is another top spot you need to see when you're in D.C. You're actually able to go inside the Capitol building. In order to do this, you'll need to get tickets online pretty far in advance. So we'll link in the description box below where you can pick up some of those free tickets. And for all the Schoolhouse Rock fans out there, you got to meet a bill on Capitol Hill. Located across the Potomac River is our next spot to visit in DC, and that's Arlington Cemetery. This is one of the nation's most somber, yet strikingly beautiful memorials to American heroes. Built on land that was seized from Confederate General Robert E. Lee, Arlington is now the final resting place to over 400,000 veterans from the Civil War onwards. It's also home to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which is a symbolic grave for all of the soldiers whose remains have not yet been found or identified. The tomb contains remains of soldiers from World War I, World War II, to in Korea. The remains from the Vietnam War were able to be removed after DNA technology enabled identification of the deceased. This tomb has been guarded 24-7 since 1937, and if you can, try timing your visit with the changing of the guard ceremony. It's a 15 to 20 minute walk uphill from the cemetery entrance. If you don't feel like walking, you can also purchase tram tickets on site. While in Arlington, be sure to visit some of the other famous grave sites, such as the final resting place of many of the Kennedys, as well as some Supreme Court justices and other war heroes. 
Alliance. Next on our list, given DC's large international presence in upscale clientele, we highly recommend sampling one of the nation's most iconic food scenes. We cover the top foods in our DC food tour video, so be sure to check that out if you want to see DC's most delicious foods, ranging from casual bites to fine dining establishments. If you found this video useful, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to see more of our travels in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.